back to my youtube channel if you're new hi i'm totally tired because i'm gonna keep it totally real with you go ahead and click that like and subscribe button to get turned up with totally tired so basically um lately i've been having like a keloid form on my industrial when i tell you all throughout the healing process i really didn't have any keloid problems and if i did i simply just put tea tree oil on it and it was gone now that it's been a full complete year it didn't reverse back to um i'm not even gonna say reverse back to the healing process because during the healing process i really wasn't having issues with it now it didn't just went to shit like <laughs> i don't i don't know how to explain it guys like literally it seemed like as my official year mark i think it was february the 17th it was either the 17th or the 20th some it was some time around i think it was the 17th i swear it seemed like when they hit like the 17th exactly the, the exact day I, I noticed that cute our cute was showing up but i was just like him tea tree oil tea tree oil was not working guys oh i don't even have my tea tree oil over here oh oh well but yeah the tea tree oil i always use and i made sure i got was a hundred percent too so yeah i don't know what the issue was but uh based on what i've been doing now and i have like videos where i've been keeping track specifically for this video i've been keeping track over the weeks how it's been okay it's gonna go down and it's getting big like you y'all see it here but what i've been doing now is literally spraying some hydro peroxide on it you and i don't even have to i am not prepared for so that literally like i said just the hydro peroxide and y'all know i love this handy dandy dr pearson aftercare and that's it and i've still been using my tea tree oil too um but i've been um once i added this hydro peroxide to it instead of just using you know this in the tea tree oil which seemed like it really wasn't helping now adding this additional step y'all see the room y'all see the room but i'm gonna try to do um theory because i remember watching this youtube video uh, and the girl was saying what she does she um uses aspirin she crushes up aspirin and she makes it into this paste and she just puts the paste on there so i was looking on amazon and i don't have any aspirin but i found these powdered aspirins off the of amazon so i'm like oh that'd be perfect and it says fast pain relief i don't know maybe it'd be faster heal my ear i don't know but what i'm gonna do i got my little shot glass of course it's a little kitty got my little shot glass i'm gonna mix that up with some hydro peroxide plus i have this 100 dead sea salt piercing piercing um rinse so that's what we're gonna do don't mind my hair if it looks my forehead if it looks all shiny i just put this hair oil on my hair because my hair has been itching me lately and um yeah i kind of fell up with too much and it keeps running down my forehead so don't mind that please don't mind that just keep watching the video just to have it um not too strong or anything so i'm just gonna get one of my little asterisks Ooh, that kind of went up my nose when I opened it. I'm just gonna put the whole pack in there. I don't know, it like crushed up for you. Even though it kind of doesn't matter because I have a pill crusher. So I could have just bought the regular aspirins and did it like that. Damn, the salt is getting everywhere. Yeah, this is brand new. I've never opened this before. Cause I kind of stopped using the um, sea salt method. Cause actual piercing solution seemed like it was working better for me. But I'm just gonna open this. Let me see if I can open this. All right. All right. I'm just eyeballing all of this, y'all. Would it be better if I add some drops of tea tree oil in there? Okay, that's enough. <laughs> okay, now it's a little water. 
And this is how it's looking, guys. It's looking very pasty looking. Get a Q-tip. Stir it around a little bit with the Q-tip. And see if this does anything, you guys. Break. I'm already getting some crust, too. I don't know if y'all can see it on the Q-tip. And I barely even did anything. I'm gonna give me another Q-tip because I hate kind of seeing the crust on there and keep using the Q-tip. So. But yeah, it seemed like after a while. Okay, look, yeah, we're getting a lot of crusting. Good. Um, but yeah, it seemed like I don't know, like the teacher oil was not working after a while. Not until I started using the hydro peroxide, then it kind of seemed like the tea tree oil wanted to start working again for me. But now, also, guys, I changed out my ooh, ooh, yeah, ew. Oh, <laughs> uh, and I also changed out my bar. This is not my original bar, I bought this bar as soon as I got my piercing. Cause I was so excited for this industrial piercing. I have ordered this Playboy Bunny uh, gauge. I have no idea what length the gauge is or the bar or anything like that. Ooh, yuck. Or anything. I might actually try this month or two with my belly button piercing because um, my belly button piercing is doing great. It's doing amazing. But it still has this moment when it pusses up and bleeds. So, um... This method is gonna be on that too. Stick it in there. I'm kind of mixing it in there too as I stick it in there too. But literally, guys, like, I went to a professional and I just got it re pierced. And she, like, y'all can see, I still got that motherfucking. Pretty sure I cleaned my industrial pretty good. Yeah, look at this, y'all. Ew. I cleaned my industrial pretty good. Um, I'm still going to turn around and get my 100% tea tree oil and still go around my bar. Because I don't know. Yeah, because see, I don't care how much you kind of clean your piercing literally the tea tree oil for some reason seems like it really grips any dirt you might have left or any crustiness and i do i really try to like kind of semi go hard around it and go like around the whole freaking ear cuz look at that look at that And I said I was done sometimes. And this is me using the solution we just made. Immediately, too, once I put it on there, um, it turned white. Like, my whole jewelry turned white. I wish I could see it better. Look at that. the importance of taking out time and cleaning your piercings guys if this video is not showing you that like y'all like I, I want more piercings but as you can see piercings take time it really do you literally have to take time out of your day and clean them or they will get crusty they will look at that they will get infected not like a tattoo tattoo wants to heal you're good you don't want to worry about a motherfucker no more but piercings are way more high maintenance than tattoos and tattoos are more permanent than piercings too so if you were to ask me if i'm a tattoo or a piercing person most definitely, yeah. 
freaking tattoo person because the way some of these piercers be charging to you can damn near get a tattoo for that price like i'm telling you i can get me a whole tattoo that is permanent for the prices um some of these tattoo artists i mean piercers be charging so i'm actually kind of holding the bar as i clean it too i don't know if y'all just peep that or not because like right around the bottom part this part of it is uh, you can physically see the crust around the jewelry so i really um just like for um i don't know if anybody else can see that but for me i don't want to be having a jewelry dangling from my belly button that's dirty so you gotta actually sit here and clean the jewelry too cheaper method and route to go versus me keep buying these because i go through these like y'all just saw i went through like 12 different q-tips y'all it's only 36 q-tips and i'll see y'all see how many left i got this is more so like if i'm on the go at work i don't got time to be making this illusion and keep a little shot glass with me and all that stuff but actual like at home when you're good we're gonna try this method so shot glass hydro peroxide dead sea salt tea tree oil there's a couple drops of it and then we got a good aspirin here so what i'm also i'm gonna finish off this stuff by using some vaseline because i don't know if it's the tea tree oil the hydro peroxide or they're both mixed together but around my ear itself it is dry like dead skin pulling off dry and which is good because you want that keyboard to be dry and dry up but you don't want the ear your actual ear around the keyboard to be that freaking dry so i just put a little vaseline on my um, q-tip and like you see what i'm saying like the actual ear it's uh don't put no vaseline on the keyboard because that's defeating the whole purpose you want that keyboard to be dry, but you don't want your ear to be all dry and shit. And I'm going to end the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to update you guys and let me know, you know, if you want to try this method. Like, comment, and subscribe. See y'all in the next video. Also, just a little info, just a little hack too I came up and I found out about are these little plastic, little silicone discs you can put also in the bar. So I also ordered this and it's really been working, guys. Like it's flattened it too.